For all the natural wonders in northern Idaho, there is only one true beauty. Not in the open skies or the distant mountains, but in the arms of a raptor rehabilitator. Here's our beloved bald eagle beauty. Her name cannot disguise the ugliness of what happened to her. Someone shot this bald eagle in the face. The upper half of her beak was obliterated. I am a, a medic and a rehabilitator, so I see a lot of things that the general public doesn't see. But Jane Fink Cantwell hadn't seen this kind of dramatic injury. Beauty was shattered, possibly beyond repair. She needs help with the very vital substance required to keep her alive. Life in the wild is impossible for an eagle like Beauty. She can't preen her feathers or even feed herself. In human terms, it would be like trying to eat a meal using just one chopstick. Yeah, you can't help but caught up in the in the emotion of the situation when mechanical engineer Nate Calvin heard about beauty's plight he wanted to help he proposed the creation of a bionic beak the likes of which had never been produced before you, you make it up along as you go <laughs> you're literally breaking new ground with this yeah you're literally breaking new ground Nate enlisted a 3d modeling program typically used in the field of aerospace his vision was widely criticized, but he and Jane ignored the naysayers. So as a biologist and a realist, I understand there is some probability of the beak not staying attached forever. But why not give it the college try? Finally, 18 months after he began, Nate had a prototype, a prosthesis made of a nylon-based polymer. I think I can get enough of it by doing it right here. The morning of the transplant, last minute adjustments are made. At Nate's side, his own personal dentist. The procedure is similar to fitting a person with dentures, but in this case, the doctor can't explain what's happening to his patient. You can't do that with a bird. They, they, she just doesn't know. It's clear the bald eagle is wary. She's panting, nervous, but Jane's voice hey beauty, you are a big girl. and gentle touch seem to soothe her. Within minutes, beauty is settled and the procedure is underway. It, it looks like we're a degree or two off on this side because that thing is inside the gape of her mouth. Time and again, really close, holding, really I'm close. Sure. Through trial and error, so, we're getting closer all the time, kid. The team reshapes the prosthesis. It must fit perfectly. At one point, they almost give up. It's all right, here we go. Let's do one more fitting. Come on. The methodical work expected to take less than an hour stretches into two. Easy, girl. Easy. Finally, the team is ready for the transplant. A metal mount is secured to the tip of Beauty's natural beak. Like a post for a crown, it helps anchor the bionic one. If you push up on it a little bit, it'll just basically lock itself in just by the geometry. There you go. Then the final step, gluing the prosthesis into place. After years of disfigurement and hours on this table, the raptor's restoration takes just one moment. Okay, baby. It's a moment of triumph, but the true test is yet to come. And what happens from this point is, is really, it's, the time will tell. As darkness falls, no one knows whether Beauty's beak will make it through the night. But the new morning brings new hope. Steady rain stresses the bird, preventing us from getting too close. But there she is, on her perch, beak intact. She's already used it to drink water and clean herself. Her doing that was, was a very, very positive, positive result. It is a stunning transformation. But the work is not finished. This is the first in a series of prosthetic procedures. Still, Jane believes Beauty's story already has a happy ending. It's a story about a bald eagle becoming a teacher. 
a symbol of survival and redemption. Human hands capable of so much harm can also heal. You have been restored to your full glory. You are a bald eagle.